Living up in Canada, I found a few odd things frozen in ice. I saw a toonie once frozen. I couldn't get it though, because, you know. Welcome back to Bumblebee. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. Here are the top 10 unsettling frozen discoveries that will give you the chills. Ooh, frozen chills? Let's do it. Number 10. Inca mummies. Right off the hop, we got a three in one. Buckle up, folks. March 16th, 1999, right near the summit of Lilialaico, so around 7,000 meters up in the sky near Argentina and Chile borders. Right all the way up there, ancient history, it appears it was just waiting frozen in the cold. It was waiting in the form of three Inca mummies. Further studies found that they were most likely sacrificed in the name of some sort of religious Inca ritual around the year 1500 CE. It's quite a long time ago. They were found in a small opening less than two meters under the ground. Now again, this discovery was shocking. They looked like they were just asleep. That's what being frozen does to you. It makes your body look nice and fresh all the time. But in reality, they'd passed around, you know, the 1500s. They're some of the most well-preserved mummies in the world. They now rest at an exhibition in the Museum of High Altitude Archaeology in Salta, Argentina. So if you're ever in Salta, there you go. Number nine, giant beaver skull. Big beavers, you say? All right, hit that thumbs up. So the Yukon permafrost, it seems to be a hot spot of sorts as it should be. Lots of ancient animals just got stuck in time and, of course, in great condition, lucky for us. Scientific name for giant beavers back then was Castoroids ohianus. The giant beaver was on average larger than humans. As Jurassic Park as this thing looks, it only ate pond weeds. It was a gentle giant. He was a fan of the salads, it seems. Hold the beef. You would think otherwise looking at it. It looks like a monster. One of the largest rodents in history, rather. They were probably really cute. I'm not gonna lie. They look kind of nice, at least on Google. 50,000 years ago, they didn't chop down trees, just weeds. It's kind of nice. Smaller beavers outlived them once conditions warmed up. Like others on this list, they moved north. They followed the ideal conditions and that led them ultimately to their icy demise. That is, well, more often than not, the Yukon permafrost. Number eight, Surgeon Notebook. All right, all you nerds, get your old textbooks out for this one. Whenever explorers find notebooks, I'm always so interested. Even in video games, that's not even the boring mission for me, you know? I'm like, yeah, let's find those ancient scrolls. Let's do that first. It feels very national treasure to me to find ancient notes from somebody that they wrote. This notebook here once belonged to a surgeon a long time ago. It's over 100 years old, and it was found in a frozen hut in Antarctica. The owner was that of George Levick. He was a photographer and a surgeon who traveled with the last expedition of Robert Scott. God. This was from 1910 to 1913. Also, what a two for one combo. Guys, two amazing jobs, so different. The book itself was completely frozen shut and the bindings were toast, but the parts that they can read today is pretty historical. Thanks to that frozen stuff, it actually survived a lot of conditions. You can still read descriptions of photos George took at Cape Adair. That's, that's history right there. Number seven, Antarctica Pyramid. Okay, here we go, a little bit of alien stuff. Why not? Here on Bumblebee, we like talking about the pyramids of Egypt a lot. We're fascinated with all things ancient and history. Once I heard about pyramids in Antarctica, I had to know what was going on. This was back in 2016, where a mountain in Antarctica was trending online all of a sudden. Now, we all immediately thought it was evidence of an ancient civilization because, well, that's what we want to see, right? That's what we're hoping for every time we hit refresh on that history channel page channel. Eric Rignot, a professor of Earth System Sciences at the University of California, reached out to live science when this was all unfolding. He added the quote, pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks partially look like pyramids, but they only have one or two faces like that. Rarely four. So just a rare anomaly, just a rare frozen anomaly, or I don't know, maybe there's some frozen space aliens. Just... <sighs> Number six, Grasshopper Glacier. Yeah, if you aren't a fan of bugs, you can go ahead and skip to number five. I will not take it personally. Just hit the thumbs up at least, you know? Do something. A glacier in Montana is home to thousands, millions, I don't even want to know how many, grasshoppers and locusts. Just all stuck in time right here. Yeah, imagine heading to a glacier and you forget bug spray? Huh, what an idiot. Well, appropriately named Grasshopper Glacier, this mile-long glacier near Crook City holds the remains of extinct giant grasshoppers. Yeah, they're, they're dead and frozen and gone, but you can still see them, which is not great. These poor guys were traveling to find new life a long time ago, and they must have gotten caught up in some cold winds, and now they're stuck here for another few hundred years. This reminds me of those suckers that have the little insect inside. Who actually buys those, you know what I mean? You see them in gift shops a lot, scorpion inside, like, mmm, nice. One lick and I'm done. Number five. Preserved wolf pup. When this little lady went into the ice 57,000 years ago, I bet she had no idea that she'd ever see the sun again. That's a long time ago. 
Discovered in, you guessed it, Yukon, Canada, Zur is the most complete wolf mummy that has ever been found. She's incredibly intact. She was discovered in 2016 by a gold miner while they were blasting water out of frozen mud. He was like, eh, hey, wait, wait, stop, hold on. And they found this. They thought it was treasure, but really it was just this little lady. Also treasured, you know, I take that back. She's also treasured. They did find treasure. X-rays tell us she was only six weeks old. X-rays also tell us that she was a fan of fish. That was her meal of choice. She loved eating fish. Poor thing, damn. I'm looking down like it's there. I'm like, ah, oh, we really missed you. All right, close the casket. Let's get out of here. Number four, frozen treasure. Here we go. Is it a wolf pup or is it actually frozen treasure? Because buddy's asking. As far as frozen treasure goes, this is very recent. You know, we don't find these often. Treasure frozen in ice, again, sounds like something out of a video game. I can't help it, this is so intriguing. Back in 2013, an anonymous mountain climber, can't imagine why they chose to stay hidden, they stumbled across a small box filled with jewels just jammed in the ice. Now, they had to breathe on it a little bit, you know, melt it out, pop it out a little bit, whatever. But once it was done, they reported it to French officers. Now this box contained around 100 precious gems. Precious gems. This was quite the find. Emeralds, sapphires, rupees, you name it. This box was worth 300,000 US dollars, roughly. I find a 20 on the ground, I'm like, that's it, I'm calling in sick. I find a toonie under the ice, I'm like, I'll wait, I'll wait till this melts. Well, since it was discovered on Mont Blanc, officials were able to trace down the lost gems back to an Air India flight that actually crashed on the mountain back in 1966. That's where this came from. The lives of 117 passengers were sadly lost, and because of the harsh conditions, it's been next to impossible to have recovered anything from the mountain, especially that long ago, right? No one wants to climb and do any of that, it's impossible. Now, somehow these family gems were able to see light again as well, and yes, the owner did return the gems. Thing is, two families claimed the goods. I'm surprised there's not more, to be honest with you. Interestingly enough, in 2014, a French treasure hunter, Daniel Roche, found 50 more pieces of jewelry from the same glacier. So, yeah, some glaciers are filled with bugs, other glaciers filled with gems. So, 50-50, really, you never know what you're gonna get. Just lick and hope. Actually, don't do that, That's, you'll get a sore throat. Number three, the glacier girl. Before you get worried, no, this next one is not a real person at any time. The next one here is a plane, a P-23 aircraft to be specific. It was discovered in Greenland, surrounded, of course, in ice. Now, during World War II in July 1942, six P-38 fighter planes were ordered to make an emergency landing in Greenland due to lousy weather conditions and, of course, low visibility. The crew was saved, but the Lockheed had to be abandoned, never to be seen again for 50 years. It was then dug out of a 264 feet bank of snow and ice and it took years to finally get this plane back out. She's known now as the Glacier Girl and in 2007, Lewis Energy CEO, Rodney Lewis, he bought that plane. Can you imagine having that kind of money? You're buying ancient frozen planes? Like it doesn't work, you know that, right? All right, cool, rich guys. Number two, Blood Red Waterfall. We've all seen that video or photo of the waterfall that's underwater. It's a nice little optical illusion. Looks kind of scary. Never want to swim again after seeing that. The blood red waterfall is a little more jarring. On the southern side of our planet, there's a waterfall in Antarctica that is blood red. It is haunting to look at. I, I don't ever want to see this in person or on the internet again, for that matter. The edge of Taylor Glacier, great name for a glacier, my God. This is a one of a kind waterfall that pours into Lake Bonnie. So millions of years ago, when sea levels rose up, glaciers now naturally formed at the top of the lake. So this melting water that's slowly leaking out from a quarter mile deep, this water is now three times saltier and three times as scary to look at. When the iron rich water then reached the air, it looked bloody. I mean, more than fair, just seeing photos of this, it's, it's jarring. It looks like there's a lot of healthy iron pouring out of there. Number one, fish eat fish. This one's kind of funny, you know, funny timing. We gotta finish on a nice, is that a real photo? We gotta finish on one of those. If you know anything about me, it's that I'm not a fan of lakes or oceans or anything underwater, I'm good. Land, beaches, plains. Perfect, let's do that. This video went viral not too long ago and it is very real. These two brothers were fishing on Indiana's Wawasee Lake and they saw a pike eating a bass. Only both parties were completely still because they were both already dead and both completely frozen. Mid meal, this guy's got a fish in his mouth, frozen in time. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We found this, this is a real thing. They posted the original photo and nobody believed that it was real. So they had to follow up and post the video where they actually remove it from the ice. So 
totally official. I would also think this is fake too. It looks like a meme that you'll have in the back of a class where it's like, hey, always a bigger fish, don't give up, or something weird like that. Like Will Smith with a thumbs up next to like a glacier. You're like, is this motivation? I don't know, this is weird. What's the scariest thing you found in ice? You ever been ice skating? You look down, you find something scary? I don't know, it happens to some of us. Comment down below. I'm Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time on Bumblebee. Bye.